Hello, welcome to your Studio Design Academy. And here's another quick tutorial about working seamlessly between Rhino and Blender via exporting and importing an OBJ. So the first step is exporting the selection as an OBJ from Rhino. So if we go in Rhino and we select the objects we wish to work with, we go to Export Selected, Save as Type OBJ, Save Textures, We type whatever name we wish to type. And then we go to formatting. An important step is to uncheck map Rhino Z to OBJY. Go to naming and layers as OBJ groups in order to preserve the hierarchy of the model within Blender. And everything else we can leave as is. If we want to, we can adjust the detailed controls to refine the mesh output from Rhino. And then we import the OBJ in Blender. We start a new Blender file and we go to File Import OBJ and make sure that the up direction matches the Rhino up direction, which in my case is Z up, and split by group, which would help preserve the groups which were layers in Rhino. So now we can double check between our objects in Blender and our layers in Rhino we can see that they're synced and their names are exactly the same so what can Blender do? it can give quick modifications for example we can use booleans to add holes or windows or openings into our buildings and masses and models and as they're non-destructive we can adjust them as we see fit we can also add people as particles which are extremely lightweight based on the number of people that we can input if we do this in Rhino it, it would get quite heavy so I avoid doing it in Rhino as much as possible and we can also add additional details that could help benefit or enhance our design for example in this case I'm just modeling a simple sculpture in a place that circulation so in addition to that facade studies could be significantly aided by being done in blender if we have a base geometry and massing setup in Rhino so this is the geometry that we have from Rhino and if we just isolate our massing we'll quickly rebuild it in blender so we start with a box add edge loops scale them in so we start with something that looks a little bit similar and then we can stri start to play by pushing and pulling edges in either direction now the beauty of this workflow is that our base mesh is fairly simple and then we can add non-destructive modifiers to create complex facades studies so here's the original and here's the one from blender and if we wish to we can assign materials or further refine the mesh as we see fit and then export the OBJ and import it back into Rhino and it should align with our current model. Thanks for watching and subscribe for regular useful tips for architectural concept design.